Hey Canada, welcome to Take 3. We've got the funniest, weirdest, most interesting stories from Narcity and around the internet that you're gonna wanna share in your group chat, including raccoon attacks in Toronto. I'm Alex Velkin, today is March 5th, and I have three stories in three minutes for you. You are not gonna believe this, check this out. A woman in New York made a terrifying, very disturbing discovery this week, and she shared it all on TikTok. Samantha Hartzer was standing in her bathroom when she noticed a breeze. At first, she didn't really think anything of it, but then she noticed something weird about her mirror. She moves the mirror aside, and what she finds is so much creepier than what she expected. Now, clearly, Samantha has never seen horror movies before because the next thing she decides to do is climb through the hole into the hidden room. The room, it turns out, is an entire other apartment, in shambles and freezing. Now when she starts hearing noises around her, Samantha finally nopes out of there. This four part TikTok miniseries is better than most movies that came out in 2020. I'm looking at you, Tenet. The city of Toronto is warning residents to keep an eye out for a terrifying new enemy, raccoons. There has been a 62% jump in reported raccoon bites and scratches compared to the same time last year, which is kind of a lot. The reason? Well, we haven't been able to ask the raccoons directly just yet, but the city believes that COVID has a part to play. Between working from home and exercising near their homes, people are running into raccoons way more often. Now, if you happen to come across one of these unpredictable bundles of potential rabies, the city doesn't want you going anywhere near them. But that hasn't stopped people around North America from domesticating them. Yeah, I'm talking about raccoon pets. Okay, that's kind of adorable. Canadians are really good at winter sports. So good, in fact, that sometimes we just gotta mix it up. Like playing hockey upside down beneath a frozen lake. Or snowboarding down the side of Montreal's Olympic Stadium. Hell, we don't even need skis to ski. That is it for today, March 5th, 2021. Thank you for making it to the very end. And listen, if you have a video clip that you want to share with the rest of Canada, slide into my DMs on Instagram at Alex Melky. And if it's good enough, you might just make it into the next episode. I'll see you Tuesday.